up everyone? This is Mike Gross at youtube.com slash mg free guitar lessons. Uh, I'm going to bring you a song from Pantera, Dimebag Daryl, uh, Cemetery Gates. We're going to go through the whole song with the exception of the solo, which we can do the solo in some future lessons. And let's jump right into it. Um, on the clean channel is where we're going to start here. And let me, let me run through the progression and then we'll break it down. Here we go. idea of the intro there and he's starting in F sharp minor 7 and what you want to do it's like a power chord with a bar uh, Pinky's gonna do fret 4 on the A string and then you're gonna wind up barring in a second here all the way across fret 2 so it looks like that heavy metal right there okay so hit the open E leave your pinky where you have it and then um, so you got low E bar fret 2 and then we're going to start the pick pattern, which is E, A, G, G, E. You need to make sure you can hear all those five strings. So it's... And then go back to G and D. The smartest way to pick this, and it's not super fast, so it's not super critical, but as we're picking downwards, pick down. And then when you come back up, to hit the G and the D, do upstrokes on that. Okay, so you would, it would sound like this. Wait. And then an open A, and then it's a power chord again. Fret 2 on the D, and fret 4 on the G. Index and pinky, or index and third, however you want to do that. And this part will go. So A, D, G, D, G, D. Try to cop that beat. You're repeating that, but instead of starting on an open A, you're going to start on an open E. But keep the power chord right where you have it and do the same thing, skipping the A string. We're going down, 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 up, up, up. And then where your pinky's at, or your third finger, leave that, take your index, drop it to 2B. So it's a reverse power chord down here, and go. So it's D, G, B, E, D, G. Then back, or yeah, you start back over and we'll change the ending of the second one like this. Let me play what we just did. the second half how it's going to start so the first three chords were all the same the F sharp minor seven then the power chord here in the middle two and four D and G the low E and then we go to the same chord the flipped over power chord 4G 2B, pinky and index, and it's played a little different. So it's alternating. Open D, go B, G, B, 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 G. Subgroup that one right there and just repeat it. So it's. That's the whole intro and then it just goes back. Okay, so that goes through, goes through, repeats, and then when the, when the change does come up, 
Let me show you that transition and what takes place. Okay, it goes. So fourth fret G. You're not going to do the. Or we're cutting that out and filling that in with four G, sliding a whole step up to six. That's with the middle finger. The whole step is what? Two frets. Ascending, so it's going this way. So you have, make sure you hear it after you get there. You don't have to pick it after you get there, there. And index 5B, leave the middle finger down, because it needs to ring like a chord. So I'm sliding, hitting the B string, fifth fret, and back to the G string that I'm already pushing down on fret six. Then I go 7-7 seven, seven on the G and B, and I'm using middle and third finger. And go G, B, G. There is a rhythm in there. Dun, dun, dun. Slide from where you're at, 7 G, a whole step sharp up to the ninth fret with both fingers, but just pick the G to slide. Okay, and then you're hitting the B and the G again. So it's... So you have... And that's first finger 10B, middle finger 11G, hit them both. Kind of vibrato, shake the strings a little bit. Okay, so uh, let's move into the next part. But go over everything I just showed you. Make sure the clarity is there. Make sure you can hear every single note in there clean. Especially on that bar chord. That will probably be the one that will give you the most trouble. Unless you've been playing bar chords for a while. Okay, so the next part is... That part broken down, it's a little, a little cleaner sound. Um, it's a power chord, open A, second fret, D. Hit those two, and then we're going to palm mute, so you have... So it's power chord, one, two, three, four. Make sure it's not... You want to hear it palm muted. So... so. And then I'm going 2D with my middle finger, 1D with my index, back to 2D with my middle, and then 3rd fret D with my 3rd finger. So it's... And he's doing the pinch harmonics that he's notorious for on that. And we'll do some future lessons on, on some little tips to get the pinch harmonics down. Because if you can't do them, it's usually something you don't pick up like boom right off the bat. You gotta go over it, so... And then index 2D, middle finger 3D, and then go third finger 4G, does another pinch harmonic. Um, fret 2 on the D, you're going to pick that and hammer on to fret 3, like that. Hammer on is when you pick, slam your finger down real hard. You don't have to pick it after you get there. Okay? And so that whole progression goes like this. That's going to go three times. Then... So the fourth one is altered from the three you just did. So start with that A5 power chord again, hit the A and D together, and then palm mute the A four times, palm muted, and then go just like we did before, 2D, 1D, 2D, 3D, pinch harmonic on that third fret D. 
and then palm mute and go one, two on the D string with your index and middle finger. And then third finger, three A, back to one D. So you have great subgroup, right? Right there. Remember to subgroup. Every lesson I'll talk about subgrouping. Critical. And you can add one more note and subgroup that. That would be 2A with your middle finger. And usually with Dimebag Daryl, Zach Wilde, a lot of male guitar players, if there's a pinch harmonic, it's usually got a vibrato after it. A vibrato is like a shaking of the string. So you need to work on those too. In conjunction, you know, or you can just by itself. And if you just hit a regular harmonic and don't shake it, it almost sounds like a natural harmonic. Like a, what gives it its life is the vibrato. So, but when you do that, don't palm mute that pinch harmonic. Good subgroup, right? Okay, so let me play that whole part for you. Okay, um, that's going to repeat. He cuts into the last one to go into the next riff. And you'll hear it when it comes up, it'll go. When you hit that 3A, you don't have to do the... It'll go. So, open E, and second fret, A. It's an E5 power chord. Hit those two. Then go to the first fret E, and the third fret A. It's an F5 power chord. And then 2nd fret E, 4th fret A, that's an F sharp 5 power chord. So Good subgroup. You're going to palm mute. Uh, both strings over that power chord, palm mute twice. E and A. So. Actually, I don't think it's both strings, I think it's just the top string, the root. But either way. Second thought? Third thought? I think it is both of them on the palm muting. So, you got that so far, right? We got. Then drop to an A5 power chord, open A, 2nd fret D with your first finger. And do the same beat concept that we just used. Hit the A and D, and then palm mute two times on those same strings. So, so. Oh, but it's three palm mutes on that. One, two, one, two, three. And then 2nd fret A, 4th fret D, that's a B5 power chord. Hit those two with the palm mutes. And then 3rd and 5th fret, that's a C5 power chord. No palm mute there. And then start it over. On the fourth one, you do that. You'll go from that C5, and then open E, second fret A, palm mute, real heavy chunk palm mute. Same thing on fret one and three on the E and A. So it's, and then go to two E, four A. It's an F sharp five power chord, and just let it ring. No palm muting. Okay, so it's from there he's back into the clean channel, which is the Okay, you'll go through all that 
Um, there's one other rhythm that I need to show you. And that is like this. Gonna lead you back in there. Okay, so let me break that part down for you. And that goes like this 2 E, 4 A. And then go second fret on the A string, do a whole step ascending slide that takes you up to 4. And then index will do 2 G. And I'd hit that with an upstroke especially with this type of aggressive song. So, then you go open A, 2D, get those two together, and do the same slide. And then we're gonna hit an E5 power chord, which is low E, second fret A. Get those together, do the same slide again. So we have, On that part, it's 5A, 7D. It's a power chord, a D5. Hit them, and then flat the index finger. Take it back a half step, leave your pinky where it's at. So you have. And then start the whole progression over, but go open, and then start the chord. So it's. You'll go through that, I believe it's. Uh, four times, but on the end of the fourth one, it's going to go... Or... So, fifth fret A, seventh fret D, go one, two, three, flat that index, go to fret four, leave your pinky where it's at. So, I think all that's palm muted too. And then take that shape, remember we talked about shapes, we're going to move it up one each to 4E, 7A, and then hit those two palm muted twice. And then close that gap, make it a power chord. Go to fret 5 on the low E with your first finger. And hit those two strings and slide them. Kind of exaggerate the slide a little bit, but go like... So it's... Okay. And that's all the parts, man, with the exceptions of the solo, and I will do the solo eventually. There's some cool stuff where Don Back does all the... We'll do the solo eventually, because I'm a Dimebag Daryl fan, completely. Um, my name is Mike Gross. You are watching my channel, which is youtube.com slash mg, free guitar lessons. If you have questions on anything, leave it on my comment page. I'll get back with you. I'm really quick about that. If you haven't subscribed yet, that'd be cool too. And I will talk to you guys soon. Another lesson coming very soon.